Okay, so now we're at layer 10, or what I've kind of arbitrarily defined as layer 10, but you can see now we're getting back to uh, what appears to be something more of a continuous layer, not one that actually moves independently, but we're working our way to that as well. So this one is much more entrenched in algorithms, and there's no real sliding U techniques. Um, what this is, is this is going to borrow the algorithms that I've used for my layer-by-layer -layer techniques with 4x4s or 5x5s. And at the end layer here, it's going to be exactly the same algorithm. And with the middle layers here and here, It'll be slightly different, but it'll be the same algorithm that you saw me do just with the previous layer to get these in. So you're going to find I have to do it a little bit different with, with these layers, or with these portions of it, than with the outer edges here. Um, and these are going to be the same as this. Now, understand, I don't really have the algorithms totally memorized. A lot of it is from, quote, muscle memory and also just visualizing it and rederiving it. So it's hard for me to say it and do it at the same time. I'll try, but don't go by that. Go by what you're going to see. It might be better if I don't even try to do that, but just for the sake of my own challenge, I'll, I'll try. But the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get these areas over here. So I'm going to take from the top and move it down here. And let's see, so here is a silver and orange, and this is going to be popped into this area. So first, line it up with the center that it's um, just above, and we have to move it in here. So this is going to be the left-sided version of this algorithm. And what you're going to do is you're going to move it up from here. So remember with the layer-by-layer -layer version, if, if you saw that, if we wanted to move this in, we just did the beginner's method. This in, we did this algorithm using two. And if we want to move the third one in, this one in, we have to do three. So what this is going to be is li to u l UI, LI, to U, L, to UI, LI, U, L. Hopefully I got that right, but you can see this is popped in over here. So that's going to be the left-sided version of it. And as I move this around, now we have a chance to do the right-sided version of it, to pop this into here. So I'm not worried about these guys yet. That's going to come. So, uh... Well, actually, this is still the left-sided version. So same kind of thing. Turn, 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 turn. Once, once you get it, it flows rather nicely. Cause I'm tight. This is fine over here. So now we gotta find others. Uh, okay, so there's this, and uh, aha, I found a right-sided version. So this will come down to here, right-sided version. All right, so the way that this is gonna look is gonna be. R to U I R I U R to U I R I to U R U I R I and that pop that back into there. So that's what you need to know with these. So the rest you can do. So for instance, should I see this green and silver? What I like about the, the dodecahedrons also is notice I don't have to lift this up when I'm doing these algorithms. So that's pretty good. Um, and we don't want to use this one. Anything with greens we don't want to use. So we do want to use this, and this is going to be the left-sided version here. Turn, 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 turn. Bing, zoom, splat. Okay. So these guys, whoop, almost. We've got one more to do. One more to do. This down into here. Okay, so you can see all of these are now in. That's what you want to do first. The next thing is you want to put these in, and it doesn't matter which order you do that in. So let's say we've got this that'll come down to here. So this is going to be the same algorithm that it did in the previous tutorial, so I can just reference that. This one I had to vary a little bit, but it's the same concept, and you can almost visualize what's going on. But in the right-sided version, to bring this down, R pop that into here, to UI, RI, to you, R, to, R, and then just a UI, then RI, UI, R, to 
U R I, then do U R U I R I. All right. So that pop that into here. So we'll do some more until I'm absolutely sure that I'm saying it right. So here's kind of a gift. I've got two that can be moved into here. So that's what we're going to do. This will be the right-sided version. R to UI RI to U R UI RI UI R to U RI UI R UI all right I'm pretty sure I messed that up but but anyway <clears throat> anyway there that is over here um, let's get this one in if we can and we can it's right here R gonna keep doing that until I don't mess up so R to UI RI to you R UI RI UI R to you RI U R U I R I and that pops that one in. Do you have another blue? Well, we could do this blue, so let's try the L version. That's gonna be L well rather L I to U L to U I L I U L U L I to U I L U I L I U L and that pops that in over there. So with intense concentration, let's see if we can put this one in. That would be a L I to U L to U I. L I U L U L I to U I L I U I L I U L. Pretty sure I messed that one up too, but anyway, so there that is over here. This has become like a quest to say it right at least once. At least once. So anyway, this L I to U L to U I L I U L U L I to U I L U I L I U L that pops that one in here and again we haven't affected these guys at all this one same thing Turn, down, turn, up, double turn, down, and swing it in. Try to get that one on camera next time. So there, that is here, here. So now we're going to try this one, just with this layer over here. And swing it here. And turn. Okay, so far we're doing good. We still have all of these to do. Um, let's try the right version just for kicks. See if I can do this without misspeaking it. R to U I R I to U R U I R I U I R to U R I U R U I R I. How'd I do? Ah, who knows. Okay, leaving one more here, or another one here. So there's going to be um, L I to U L to U I L I U L U L I to U L U L I U I L. Pops that into here. All right, this to here. Up. Turn, 
down, turn back, up, turn, down, turn, up, double turn, down, here, turn, and down. Okay, and just like that, we now have this middle layer in. So remember, the shorter algorithm for the sides, the slightly longer algorithm for here. Just don't try to say it as you're doing it, because you might mess it up. But now we're down to the last three contiguous layers. And this is where the fun begins. So congratulations, you are now down to layer, layer 11, 12, and 13. So we're now back to the contiguous layers. So um, be proud, you started off with contiguous layers that move independently, and you finally got back to it. So we're gonna have to do another little push to make this happen. So the first step is once again, we're gonna go in, um, in a familiar order. We're gonna get these guys in over here, then we're gonna get these guys in, and then we're gonna slide you our way to these guys over here. And it's gonna be the same for both of these layers, so how are we gonna do this? Well, I'm gonna borrow heavily from the concepts that we've used before, as well as the seven by seven and four by four layer by layer solves. So to put this in, it's gonna be with that same algorithm that you saw us using with the, these over here and these over here. So we're gonna extract it from the top. So this we wanna put over to here. The way that's gonna work is we're gonna move this to the side and we're gonna do the same algorithm which will affect just these two. So we'll move this up um, to an R, to UI, RI, to U, R, UI, RI, U, R, to U, R, I, U, R, I, U, I, R. Okay, so that pop this into here, move this back up, and there it is. Now it's a little hard to follow. It's the same algorithm, but it's a little hard to follow uh, just because these colors don't really match as well. Let's try it again with here. So this will move down to here. So once again, uh, this is my R, and this is my U, by the way, if I didn't mention that. So uh, we're gonna do that again. R to U I R I to U R U R I U I R to U R I U I R U I R I pops that into here and again I think I'm saying it completely wrong but I will have it written down. We don't have this one here yet. We have this, or we don't have this one here. And yellow we don't have either. So if that's the case, what I need to do is I need to take this and move this up here. So we're gonna move this over to here. R to U I R I U to U R U I R I U I R to U R I U I R U I R I. Okay, that popped this up here. So we're going to move this over to here. Move this here, and we'll go ahead and do that same algorithm here. R to U I R I to U. R, U, I, R, I, U, I, R, to U, R, I, U, I, U, rather, R, U, I, R, I. Okay, move this back down, so this is here. And now we finally move the pink one in. We'll put it in position, put this over to here. <clears throat> and now do R to U I R I to U R U I R I U I R to U R I U R U I R I. Okay, so that did the function here, here, and here. Now. 
This is where things are going to be a little different. I'm going to have to do something you haven't seen yet on this puzzle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get these guys in. So, how do I do that? Uh, it's really a matter of positioning. Uh, I don't know that I, I should do an algorithm. I'll say it as I'm doing it, but to be honest with you, I don't really have it memorized as an algorithm per se. So anything that's not green is going to end up coming down here. So these are greens. Okay, so we've got a, a pink and blue. This pink and blue is going to end up over here. So let's match it up to an area, to a place where it'll end up there. So if I move this down here, you can see moving this in will do the job. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the side to move it into here. So just kind of follow what I'm doing. I'm going to move this down, and I'm going to move this in place over here. Okay? So you see that in place. Now I'm going to move this up to the top layer and do a 2U, and then move it down. Now I'm going to put this in to move this back, so I'm going to swing this back. And I'm going to move this back up here, and if I did a 2U, I'm going to have to do a 2UI to bring this back. And I move this down, and I move this back up. As you can see, it did not change these, but it did put this one in place. So I think it's probably best that I show that more, because I didn't really do it by way of an algorithm, but I encourage you not to memorize an algorithm with this. Just kind of see what's happening. All right, so this silver and orange is going to go here. So let's hold it in this direction. I'm going to move this down so it can come into here. So I move this to here. Now I'm going to take this whole thing, move it up, and substitute it with this guy over here by going to U, then bring it down. So this got substituted just to bring this back. So now I'm going to bring this back. So it's a variation of edge reduction. Now I got to bring this back. So I'm going to move this up once again, do a to UI, and bring it down. So really, I put this in, then I substitute it with something up here, move this back, and then I put this back in. So you can see now this is in. Um, so let's keep going around. These are two greens. Okay, I've got two that can be put in. Pink and so this one over here. So uh, this won't come in from this angle. So I have to move them over to here. To here. So let's move this down over here. Slide this into place over here. Now I gotta take this out and substitute with something up here. So move it up, do a 2U, and then substitute it with this guy here. And now we simply move this back. Now we go up, bring this back into place, move it down. And this moves back up over here. So this is in, this is in, this is in. We've got one, eh, we got two more. So I'll just keep going through this process here. Move this down, move it in. This moves up to you, substitute it with this, move this in, and now we just get this back and down. So it's a simple matter of positioning to pop these guys in. So this is good. All right, let's see what else we've got. This will come into here. So move it down, move it in. Bring it up. One, two. Pop this down to substitute it with this. Bring this back, move this back up. Pop this in, move it down. This moves up. Good, 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 and good. So this is in, and these two are in, and that's it. Now you just have to move these in with our good old sliding U techniques. And it should be easy enough to find these pieces. So this moves into here, move it in on the right, slide it to the left, down on the left, slide it back to the right, up on the right, slide it back to the left, up on the left, and you didn't do any damage here and you got this in over here. Let's keep putting pinks in as much as we can. No more that we can put in over here. How about blues? Any blues we can put in? And uh, interestingly enough, no. So we'll move this in. Down on the right, slide it to the left, down on the left, back to the right, up on the right, back to the left, up on the left. Okay, how about that pink I just took out? Yeah, this guy here. So it's getting easier and easier to find these pieces. So this in many ways is kind of like the payoff phase. Uh, no more pinks here. How about a silver? 
Nope. How about an orange? Okay. So if I can't move them out, I gotta move it in from somewhere else, somewhere up here. Which one belongs here? Well, uh, let's see. It must be trapped in here somewhere. Yep, it's trapped over here. So I've gotta take this out. So I'm gonna move this up, double turn, move this up, double turn, move this down, double turn, move this down. Okay, it just it was just trapped in there somewhere. So now I can move this in. And turn. So this is all done here. Orange. Let's move both of these here. Oop. I'm gonna pop it out. So far this has yet to pop any pieces. Very smooth moving puzzle. Splat. Okay. How about here? No? Alright, now I just moved a blue in, so maybe I can use it. No, not so much. Which means it's hidden in here somewhere. It's this. And I can move this gray one in. So that's good. And turn. Good. Good. Uh, not so good yet, but I'm pretty sure I've found the right blue here. Okay. How about our pink? Do we have a pink one to use? No. Which means it's hidden somewhere. Hmm. Okay. This is going to borrow from up here, because if I move this here, this is where it's going to be. So it's this one here. So I want to move this, move this over to here. Now here's how I may be able to do that. Move this up, double turn, move this up, double turn, move this down, double turn, move this down. So I made that exchange. This is a, a variation of the last layer technique in a Rubik's Cube, where, where this went to here, this went to here, and this went to here. I hear rather slid it over. So good, good, good. If that didn't make sense, you can always just take this, move it up here, and then move it down here. Okay, pink. Well, if I move this over here, it's gonna come from this top layer also, somewhere here. It's gonna be this guy. So whether this is gonna work is this will come up to here, this will go here, and this will go here. And I'm gonna do that by putting this up in this position here, double turn so I can accept this piece. This will move up over here, so that puts this into position. Double turn this here, move it down, double turn this here, and this brings it back. Okay, so this layer is now done. That wasn't too bad, that wasn't too hard. So now we're gonna do this exactly the same way, exactly the same way. So um, let's go ahead and get these pieces in. Maybe there's some, so I can just pop this into here, no problems. All right, so this is in, this is in. Uh, what's left? So we've got this guy here, and we wanna move this into here. All right, so the way that this is gonna work is uh, when I move this up, instead of splitting it down here, I'm gonna split it up here instead. So that's gonna be R to UI RI to U R UI RI UI R to U RI U R, U, I, R, I. This moves back, we're good, and everything here is fine. So in, in, in. Okay, how about this uh, orange over here? We still don't have an orange to play with. Blue, and we don't have a blue. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to move a blue up, and that's gonna come from here. I just wonder, yeah, so these two have to be flip-flop, basically. So, um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to move it up, so I'm going to quickly go ahead and do the algorithm. Splitting over here. Turn. Down. Turn. Up. Turn. Down. Up. 
and turn. Okay. In that way, that popped this blue one up. So let's go ahead and put the blue one in. R to UI, RI to U, R, U, I, R, I, U, I, R to U, R, I, U, R, U, I, R, I. We got this in, and finally, oops, stickers coming off. Finally, we've got the orange, so let's get that in quick. And boom, in, 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 all these are in. So this is done the same way, this is already in. So which one is not green? This one isn't, so this is gonna move here. So we move this down. All right, slide it to this edge over here. So we're gonna reduce this to here, right? Bring it up to you, bring this down. Now move this across, bring it up to you, I, bring it down, this moves back. So this is in, this is in, yeah, this is in over here. Nothing here, this will go to here. So we're gonna slide them into position here. Bring them in, bring this up to you, bring them down, splat, bring them up to UI, down, clunk. So good, good, good. Yeah. And we've got a couple more to go. This to here. Slide it in, bring this up to UI, down, bring them down, bring them back up to you, bring it back down. Bring this over here. Uh, okay, nothing, 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 something, no, something, this one. All right, so this is gonna come to here. Bring them down, up here, to UI, down, bring them back, up, to you and down. Okay, so our goals have been achieved. These are in and these guys are all in over here. So now it's just completing this with simple uh, sliding techniques. I'm gonna bring both of these down because, well, they belong in other places. So this, in this way I can bring the silver one up too. Uh, Nothing here. Both of these can move down here. So that's what I'm gonna do. So in many ways this layer is quicker than the other one because it's the same technique, but now it's so much easier to find pieces because we're limited in what's left. So there's only gonna be a couple more to go. And turn, turn, and just like that this is all done. We should be lousy with blues. Now let's get both of these pinks out. Because I can use that right next door. Okay, now this blue, I wanna move this down to here, but I wanna move this orange out as well because it doesn't belong on top here and it doesn't belong here, so it's gonna belong here. So it's gonna be a payoff. Uh, now I don't wanna move this pink into here, actually. So I'm not gonna do that, because this pink belongs somewhere else. Probably by a pink side. And up. Now we can start moving in pinks. Both of these will go down here. So everything that I want on this layer is should be up top. And guy comes here and this comes over here up and turn boom okay all of these are in let's get all these grays in Turn, should be another gray right here. And 
turn. And finally, we get all of our oranges in place. This will come here. What else we got? Swing us over here, and now finally we can get this orange one in here. Turn, 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 turn. Swinging you technique all the way, and boom. Okay, so as you can see, all these are in. So we have everything down to this last layer. And this last layer is quite close to being done because you've got all the centers already in. By necessity, all these centers are done, all these centers are reduced, and now you've got all of this center reduced as well. So now it's a matter of edge reduction. Now this is the point in the video that I did not delete the previous one. So you're gonna see the background change again as we, re as we return to our regularly scheduled program, dealing finally with the last layer.